the biblical truth of our hymns. Today, we're looking at, Oh, How I Love Jesus. Now, Frederick Whitefield, Whitfield, Whitfield was educated at Trinity College in Dublin, Ireland. After taking holy orders, he was successfully curate of Otterley. Victor of Kirby, Ravage, Kinkoff, Senior Curate of Greenwich, and Vicar of St. John, Bexley. In 1875, he went to St. Mary's in Hastings. The refrain, Oh, how I love Jesus, was not part of the original poem. The addition of the refrain was a commonly, common technique employed during the 19th century for revival songs. In many cases, these refrains were associated with other texts. So the title, Oh How I Love Jesus, and then when we sing the chorus, was not in the poem. Now the name, if the refrain is true and was added later, verses or stanzas one through four, there is no mention the name of Jesus. Cover the refrain, cover the chorus, whatever you want to call it. And go through the, the four lines, the four verses, stanzas. There is no Jesus. He's our Savior, stanza two. Unlike as a deer, the poem may him does not point to Jesus. There's a name I love to hear without mentioning who that name is. Huh? There is a name I love to hear. And the refrain added ad afterwards. Well, what's that name? What were the names of some of the, the, the churches this guy was? St. John, St. Mary's? Savior, Jesus. But it's not Mary, the savior of the Catholic Church, or part of the office of. Mary's death did not set us free. But Catholics love Mary's name more than Jesus, one can assume. Mary, to them, you know, you can bypass Jesus and go to the mother. There is one name that sets above all names, that sets men free, Jesus. The precious blood, the most multiple New Testament verses, Acts 20, 28. It's God's blood. It is Jesus' blood that sets a man free. It's the gospel for sinners. Jesus' name. It tells me what the Father has in store. Jehovah saves. Jesus is the life. It's a hymn about a name without mentioning the name. Acts 4.12, there is no other name given amongst them whereby we must be saved. And yet in Acts 4, there is the mention of Jesus. Jesus suffers and understands our sufferings and sorrow. And then refrain, oh, how I love Jesus three times. Granted, it puts the name of Jesus in a poem and in a hymn that was not there before. But doesn't contemporary music, you know, there's four words eight different times? And again, when we're dealing with a congregation of people, and there are all types of people in a congregation of church. They are saved, they love the Lord. They are saved, they're worldly. They are there for a purpose, mom dragged them out. They're for a purpose, my girlfriend is there. They are lost. They've been invited. It's their duty to be in church. Someone will tell them, go to church, it's Sunday. Okay, I'll do my duty going to church. Without mentioning the name of Jesus, I suppose. And there'll be people, okay, we're going to sing, oh, how I love Jesus. And you'll get a lost man, oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. What if he doesn't? Then it's a lie. Worldly Christian, oh, how I love Jesus. Well, you love the world more. So there is a name I love to hear. I wonder what that name is when there's no stanza and no refrain. 
what is that name on the lips of a man that comes from Trinity College with holy orders, with Curé, with Victor, with St. John's, with St. Mary? What's his name above all names? I love to sing its work. It sounds as music in my ear. The sweetest name on earth. Acts 4.12 tells us that name is Jesus. But call the question. How many studies have we done so far? And we find again the name J-E-S-U-S -S is missing from the hymnal. Why? You mean of all the hymnals we cannot name J-E-S-U-S -S at least once? And then we get, oh, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. The gospel of what? Jesus Christ. It tells me of a Savior's love, capital S, oh, yeah, okay, now we're getting close to Jesus, but no name. I mean, in, in stanza one, Jesus is a name I love to hear, oh, couldn't you done that? It tells me of a Savior's love, who died to set me free. Okay, that's the Lord Jesus Christ. It tells me of his precious blood. There's Jesus Christ. Acts 20, 20, God. The sinner's perfect plea. True. Great. Gospel. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses from all sins. Without the name of Jesus. That bothers me. That there's no J-E-S-U-S. -S. It tells me what my father has in store for every day. He never had a day where you don't know. He had no idea. He never had where God says, you know what, just... Left you in the cloud bank, and you're praying, you're praying for guidance, you're praying, you're seeking. You're... Though I tread a darksome path, yield sunshine all the way. Yeah, we walk a darksome path, but you know, Jesus is the light. It tells of one, capital O, whose loving heart can feel my deepest woe, who is, who, yeah, who in each sorrow bears a part that none can bear below. Jesus Christ suffered and died of extremest pain that no one has ever, ever suffered or could survive. The fact is that Jesus Christ is God. That he did not die under the brutality of the Roman government and the brutality of the high priests, the Jewish soldiers, officers, of the whipping, the punching, the thorns, all the blood loss, his back as a field that has been plowed by a plower. That he still carried that cross to Calvary. Yeah, under the power that he is God. And those nails in his hands and in his feet. And with the voice of God, it is finished. Now, we don't know who added, oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. 
That took a lot of work. Oh, I love how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, that took a lot of work. Add that. Because he first loved me. That's scripture. Someone added the name of Jesus. Someone added that he first loved me. And this mentions it's American melody of the 19th century. Well, you can take anything that's American and just throw it in the garbage can as far as I care. You know what the fruits of America are? Mormonism. Jehovah Witness. Mary Baker Eddy. The charismatic movement out of California. The fruits of America are not Christianity, my friend. The fruits of Christianity come from the line of Shem through Israel. Through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This hymn speaks of the work of Jesus. Without mentioning J-E-S-U-S. -S. I think it's a shame. When I'm witness, I'm talking to people, or I'm preaching on the street, I make sure... Jesus. So, again, let's take away this refrain. Here's this poem with Frederick Whitfield's name on it, Whitefield, however it's pronounced, Whitfield. So the only name that would be ascribed to this poem, this hymn, before the refrain would have been Frederick Whitfield. And what Christian goes into the work of searching and finding out the names and who they are and what they are? Who studies to show thyself approved on the God? That's what these series, these lessons on the biblical truth of our hymns. The biblical truth of, oh, how I love Jesus, there was no, oh, how I love Jesus until much later on. And I would assume by the titles that this guy came from, he's either come out of the Catholic Church or he's come out of the Church of England. Or another Protestant daughter of the Catholic Church. With the names of the churches that this guy was in. With the studies that we've done, I find disturbing, as we did in this one and conclude with today, but this, it disturbs me in how much or how less the name of Jesus Christ is not even in the hymns. And no one calls it to question. No one walks up to the song leader or the pastor of the church and say, Pastor, why are these songs? Where is the name of Jesus? And oh, how I love Jesus. It's in the title. And the foundation of this hymn, Jesus is not in the poem. It looks like to me the hymns have you know, we talk about modern Bibles. The hymns have removed the name Jesus. Now remember, the King James Bible is authorized and anointed and inspired by God through the Holy Spirit. The hymn book is not inspired. The hymn book is a bunch of men. There's only one inspirational, inspired of God hymn or hymns in our Bible. That's the book of Psalms. The Bible says when Jesus and, and the disciples finished with the meal, they went out to the garden, they sung a hymn. I wonder what hymn they sang. It's never recorded. <laughs> 